Hey, this is Ryan from 60 Cycle Hum, the guitar podcast. Today I'm showing you the Kyber Fuzz by Wrought Iron Effects. This pedal came about as a creative collaboration between Wrought Iron Effects. Obviously, 60 Cycle Hum, which is what you're seeing right now here in this video screen, and the Tone Mob podcast, uh, which you should go check out the moment this video is done. Anyways, uh, this pedal came about because people on our Facebook group were talking about how they'd like to have a fuzz pedal that was designed almost specifically for rhythm players, for people who like to, you know, chord, who like to strum, you know, they're not playing like crazy, saturated, gated out leads with a fuzz. They want a fuzz that holds up for rhythm. Anyways, uh, Ed Shue from Rod Iron Effects ran with the idea and he's been working on the circuit for a while now. And behind the scenes, we've been working on the, uh, the visual concept of it, the name of it, you know, all the fun little details. But anyways, here it is, let's check it out. I wanna show you this LED. Boom! It's a laser sword. When have you ever seen a laser sword before? I feel like when I was a kid, I watched a movie that had laser swords in it, but I honestly can't remember what movie that is. It must be something pretty obscure. So go jump on Wikipedia, look up laser sword movie, and see if you can find if there's any movies that have laser swords in them, because I have a feeling that's what this pedal is referencing. All right, let's get into this thing. Here's a clean signal from my Titan KR1 loaded with P90s later on. I'll use some single coil tones from the airline here and some humbuckers from the Squire. All right, here's that clean sound. And here's that fuzz. Let's talk about the controls of this thing. You might have noticed that there is a fuzz knob and a gain knob. That's pretty unusual for a fuzz pedal. Usually fuzz pedals have one gain control that just goes from light gain to heavy gain. And uh, this one's pretty unique. So I'm gonna explain what's going on here. First of all, the fuzz knob controls the overall gain of uh, three different clipping stages in here. It also controls the frequency response. So you can kind of think of it as a tone knob. Over here on the right side, that's the dark side of the knob. Uh, it's gonna be darker, it's gonna be warmer, there's gonna be lo more low end. You turn it to the right and you start to lose all that low end and it gets a lot brighter, uh, a lot lighter, I guess, in, in the gain side. I guess you could call that the light side of the knob. But anyways, turn it up if you want more low end and more gain. And then the gain control, uh, controls how hard the first two clipping stages hit the last clipping stage. So it's an extra gain control. Uh, you just slam yourself with more sustain, more gain. It doesn't do anything to the tone as far as I'm aware. It's just a way to clean it up or make it more dirty. So it gives you, you know, a really interesting way to play around with the clipping circuit in here, controlling how hard the different clipping paths hit the next clipping path and things like that. I'm probably screwing up all the terminology. Tell me in the comments below, <laughs> I can take it. But anyways, these two knobs are really interactive with each other and you're gonna do a lot of experimenting, finding how they hit each other with one down and the other up, the other down and the other up and everything in between both up, both down. You know, there's a lot of exploring to do to find kind of the in-between tones that you just can't get with most other fuzz pedals. And then of course, we'll move on to the other controls. You've got the volume control and you've got the glitch control. So what glitch does is, well, anyways, here in the, on the middle switch position, it's off. You turn it on and what's, listen to this. What's going on is that there's a uh, like a tremolo style modulation of the bias of the fuzz. It's a bias tremolo. How cool is that? Uh, so on the top position of the switch, it's a deep tremolo, and you put it to the bottom, and it's a lighter. The knob controls the speed of the effect.
<laughs> it's a pretty neat thing to have built into this fuzz. Uh, let's rewind and go back to the fuzz and gain control and I'll show off the range of those knobs. <laughs> With the gain pretty far down, you can hear that you start to get a squishy, like starved sound because there's not much hitting that last gain stage. Try turning down the fuzz knob to bring out some of those lows and make it brighter. You can get pretty overdrivey with both of them turned down a bit. And then of course you can always roll the volume back on your guitar if you want to get even cleaner. All right, let's have some fun with this thing. I'm gonna make some loops, get freaky with the glitch. I just wanna get weird. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude comments. I swear I can deal with it. Uh, if you really like what you see on this channel, support us through Patreon. All right, uh, see you in other videos. Enjoy this sloppy little loop that I'm gonna play.